Good morning everyone, happy Monday. It is the first day back since winter break and I just walked in. It was about 7.15ish when I got here and I have a few things I need to do this morning so I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. When I walked in, the room is like cold and it smells funny and it smells clean. Like it looks like they cleaned the carpets, maybe you know, cleaned all the surfaces. I'm not really sure, but it smells clean in here. Anyway, I have this big old bag full of stuff and this big old bag full of stuff. This is my, this is like a super old teacher bag that I got from Mod Cloth, like back when I was student teaching, I feel like. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, I got a new tripod for Christmas from my sweet husband. I also got one from my sister-in-law, so now I have two. So if something goes missing, I have an extra. I'm just gonna mount this onto my camera and it should help keep my vlogs a little bit more steady. Yay, it really does stabilize everything. Okay, so my room, I spent a lot of time before break kind of cleaning and organizing to make sure that when I walked in the door today, things were ready to go. So I do have all of my copies made and ready to go for this week. Everything is in the drawers. All I'm gonna do this morning is kind of get some things set up. I need to make an anchor chart for perimeter because we are working on perimeter this week. We're not doing area and perimeter, we're just doing perimeter. That is it. Next week we will do area but we wanted to really just focus on one skill at a time because they are super important skills and they carry on to the next school year. So I'm gonna make an anchor chart and then I'm going to just read through my lesson plans, make sure I know what I'm doing today and the rest of the week. I am changing up my morning procedures. I'm gonna start having my students come in in the morning, grab their breakfast from this, this table here and then they will sit in a circle instead of coming to their desks. So they will hang up their backpack, grab their breakfast, sit in a circle, start eating, and we'll be doing morning meeting there on the floor together. Just talking about today what we did over break, maybe what they got for Christmas, just anything that they wanna share. I wanna give every single student an opportunity to talk today. So if that means that our math review is pushed a little bit further, that is okay. Today is the first day back from break, so I really would like to talk about reflecting over what they did for break and then maybe talking about some goal setting. So I need to think about finding something for that because even though it's not in my plans to do any goal setting, I think that it's really important, so I might just spend the morning doing that. And then that way everything is just kind of, you know, so we wanna start the new year right. Also this quarter, this semester, I really, really want to focus on being consistent with my behavior expectations because I really did struggle last quarter, last semester with behavior and I think that I just got really lenient and I really need to not do that. I definitely have a better behaved class and a easier time teaching and a lot more success in my classroom when I am more consistent and more strict. So we're gonna do that. What do I need to do first? Oh, I need to unpack my bag. Okay, so I was gonna show you guys what I brought with me to school today. So I have this lunch bag. My husband and I are actually going on a trip this spring break and we really never do anything, rarely. We rarely do anything. So we're going to the Caribbean this spring break. We're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise. I'm so freaking excited. But that means that for these next eight weeks, I think it is until our cruise, I think it's actually two months to the day because we leave on the 6th and it's like the 7th. So I have two months to lose. I wanna lose like 10 more pounds, maybe not even 10 pounds, but just make myself feel better, look better and feel comfortable wearing a bathing suit. So anyway, I brought some food with me to school. I brought these um, rice cakes, I love these. These are organic, I get them at Sprouts. They are only 100 calories for four of them. So I like to use these as a snack mid-morning or afternoon. I brought my 
cold brew maker that I also got from my sister-in-law for Christmas. This is going to be used in our team fridge. So Kayla and I will actually share that. And then I also brought some whipped Greek cream cheese and I like using this on the rice cake with cucumber. So I have, <laughs> this is funny that it's like just thrown in here. I have a bag to put it in, but I brought a cucumber and a half for that. So I just smear some cream cheese on there and then I cut up some cucumber and there you go. I also have a yogurt to finish off my breakfast because I had a protein shake. I need to put that in the fridge. And then I brought some coffee creamer. This is just the Natural Bliss Sweet Cream flavor. Now this is obviously not a diet item, but I usually cut carbs and as much sugar as I can, like refined sugars. And I only have like coffee in the morning once a day and I really don't have that much cream, so I just have it and it, it's fine. And then for lunch, I brought this Asian chopped salad kit and some chicken. So that's what I have for lunch today. I also have my giant water bottle, which I always bring with me, except for I'm gonna try to drink one of these every day because I have had some dehydration issues. Um, I used to bring this and drink it about every two days, but I did label some goals on it. You can't really see it. I just put some like times of the day on here. And I already am to my first goal. So I just need to fill up my cup with ice and then I can finish drinking that. So okay, I'm gonna get started on putting this stuff in the fridge, then I'm gonna look at my lesson plans and then I'm going to create an anchor tart. Good morning guys, I just got to work and it is freezing in my room for some reason. Maybe it's just me this morning, but anyway, I have my bagel jacket on and I'm all cuddled up because I'm freezing in here. I'm drinking a protein shake this morning for breakfast. I don't think I put a mixer ball in here, so now all my stuff is all dense. Um, I'm drinking my water this morning. I've already met my 7 a.m. goal, and then everything in here I need to drink before 11 a.m., which, it's fine because it's 7.30, so I should have plenty of time to drink that throughout the day. So I'm just sitting here looking at my planner and going through my to-do list. So right now my to-do list has one, two, three, four, five things on it that I need to be done with before the end of the week in addition to planning for next week. Unless I am planned for next week. I don't know. Let me see. There's a good chance I am. Next week is parent-teacher conference week. That's another thing I need to add to my to-do list is to send out conference reminders. <laughs> okay, so send out conference reminders. I need to do that. Next week is conference week, which means we get out early. Uh, so there will be no writing next week at all. And then um, I actually think I am planned for next week. So let me look through plan book. Okay. So I am planned for, okay, so I'm not planned for next week at all. So I also need to plan for next week. But the good news is, is I don't have to plan for writing because it is early release days all week. And so all I have to plan for is reading and math, which is not a big deal. Okay, so my to-do list. First thing I need to do is I need to finish report cards. Those are due I need to print them and have them ready to pass out to parents next week for conferences. I also need to score my STARS writing assessment. So my students took a writing assessment a few weeks ago and I actually have to score those. There are three prompts each times 23 students. So that's gonna take me, I don't know, maybe I'll do that during lunch. I also need to submit my December instructional aid plans, which I believe my instructional aid fills in every week, so I should just have to pull them and turn them in. I need to finish my fall evaluation stuff. It's like a program on the computer. I need to call the Phoenix Zoo and get our field trip set up, and then I need to send out conference reminders. This is all in addition to planning for next week. And then I also have the Get Your Teach On conference coming up which is the week after next. 
and I am gonna have a sub on Tuesday, so I need to gather some things for the substitute. Luckily, that week is, well, that basically that day, we'll be doing some Martin Luther King Jr. stuff, so I can just find like a bunch of that, dump it in a bin, and then that's sub plans. So, oh, I'm so tired. But I am gonna have to prepare my classroom that Friday for a sub on the following Tuesday. So next week during conference week, I'll have to prep my classroom for a sub for the next week. So things are crazy. I have um, one, two, three IEP meetings this week. I have one tomorrow afternoon. I have one Friday morning and one Friday afternoon as well. So it is a busy week. Uh, Cash also starts school on Thursday. I was gonna try to get Thursday morning off so I could go with my husband to take him to school for the first day, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I just have too many things going on. I also have duty this morning at 8.05. So I think what I'm gonna do this morning is I'm going to sit down right here and start looking at report cards because those are kind of like majority or those are top priority. So I'm gonna sit down and start looking at report cards and try and get as many of them done now as possible. And then at lunch today, I will do the writing assessments. Hi guys, so it is afternoon recess and I haven't picked up the camera really much today because I've been so busy trying to get things checked off of my to-do list. So I'm just gonna check in with that real quick and see what I can check off. So I am halfway done with my report cards. I did my conference reminders. I also added something. I need to do some Dojo and Grabber Rewards cards for my Grabber store. And then these I just need to collect. So I'm halfway done with this. I'm going to try and get this done before I leave today and then start on these. And then tomorrow, if I'm done with my report cards, I'm going to do all of my stars writing. Then I'm thinking tomorrow at lunchtime, I will call the zoo. So maybe if I put these in on the days of the week, then maybe I will actually do them. So I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to use some planner stickers. Okay guys, so I think I have to go get my kids right now and we're going to do some writing and then when we come back, I am going to work on my final evaluation and then I will finish my report cards before I leave today. Good morning, dear friends. It is Wednesday morning and I am here bright and early. It is 7.30. I got here a little bit later than normal. I had a few things to do at home before I left for work. But I'm here. I have a pot of coffee going because I need some caffeine. I haven't had caffeine in like four days and yesterday I got a really bad migraine and I'm pretty positive it's caffeine withdrawals. So I'm not trying to like quit caffeine cold turkey for any reason. So I, um, I'm just gonna have one cup, uh, which is what I usually have. So I also packed two eggs for breakfast. And then this is the bitchin' sauce from Costco. I don't know if you guys um, have ever tried this, but it's super delicious and I thought that I could use that with some cucumbers for a snack today. So I'm gonna get that in the fridge. I've already made my 7 a.m. water goal, so I'm gonna refill my tumbler and get started drinking water. I have a few things I need to do this morning. I do not have a special today, so I need to get as much done as possible. I need to switch this out for something New Year's related. I did get a few things on my to-do list done yesterday before I left for home. So I did finish my report cards. So this morning I am going to work on finishing up. Well, let's see, that's not on my to-do list for today, so maybe I won't do that. I'm gonna start working on field trip stuff and then tomorrow I'm gonna finish scoring my STARS writing assessment. And then I do need to make a dojo or grabber rewards poster. And then I also really wanted to make a think poster. And this is the think before you speak um, thing. And basically it's the word think. I just have it on post-it note. I'm pretty sure this is the words that go with the letters, but 
Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it important? Is it necessary? And is it kind? And I just want to make a poster and put it up on my wall right here, I'm thinking, because a lot of the times my students, you know, they, they talk in class and when they are talking about something, I want to make sure that they are thinking before they speak. Um, you know, a lot of tattling going on, a lot of unnecessary things being said, and I feel like if I made that, I might help them. I also have no special today, so I have an extra long reading block, which is exciting because we need to finish up a few things before we do our jigsaw activity. So, I'm going to just make sure everything is set up and ready for that, and I don't have duty today, so I do have close to 40 minutes to get all of this done and ready. So I also have a collaboration video that I need to get filmed by the end of the month. So I need to get it filmed by the end of the month. I have been slowly getting clips here and there of things that I want to include in this video. And um, so I need to get a few more things for that. And then I actually need to plan a day where I come in a little bit earlier and actually film like the sit down part of the video. So I need to play, plot that out. All right guys, so we are right in the middle of doing our jigsaw activity. So I'm gonna take you guys around and show you the collaboration. Wait until everyone at the team is done and then you can start looking at questions. Mia, you need to show what they need so we can all need Okay. Okay. You guys are doing a great job staying quiet. Thank you. This team is doing a great job of working quietly. Thank you. Snowy Owl team, how's everyone doing? Did you guys all read it yet? Yeah. You did? Okay, so now you're going to talk through the... Um, thing. The questions. 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 Okay. Work together. After you're done answering as many questions as you can using that page. When we get to the, what are some fun facts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you get the okay. Yeah. No, we're the owls, right? Mm -hmm. So we owls. Good job. So we got we got to write our name. Yeah, we're going to write our name. I'm just going to be Okay, now. Hi guys, happy Friday. So I just got to work and I am kind of on a time crunch. It is 7.40, no. It is 7.37 and I have an IEP meeting this morning at 7.45. So I did have time to run to Starbucks and grab coffee and breakfast because I really needed coffee and breakfast. It's Friday, it's Starbucks day. So I had to get myself some coffee. I just got a blonde roast coffee with room and I have my own creamer in the fridge here at school, so I uh, poured my coffee into my Teach Cup from Lipstick and Littles, and I added my own creamer. So I also got a sandwich and some egg bites, and then I'm gonna gather up all the things that I need for my meeting, and I'm gonna head out the door. Um, problem is, I don't have a couple of things prepared for today, so it's gonna be kind of stressful. I am going to have to spend my um, prep time kind of getting things ready, at least just for reading. I have everything ready for math and for writing. I just have to do a couple things for reading. So I'm gonna get all the things that I need for this meeting. I'm gonna head over there and then I might start doing some work while I sit and wait for the meeting to start. Oh, I'm cutting off my own head again. <sighs> it's been kind of a rush this morning, but it's okay, we're gonna deal with it. Hey guys, so I ended up having my IEP meeting and it was actually a red meeting, which is a review of existing data to see if the student qualifies for special services like resource classes, speech uh, therapy, uh, things like that. Um, and the test results came through that there was no um, like learning, but they did qualify ADHD and um, verbal expression was um, eligible for language 
um, resources. So the student is going to be getting everything that they need, which is awesome. I ended up running like super behind. I didn't leave school until five and I had a race to get cash because I had an hour drive. I made it with plenty of time and I dropped some food off with Scott and then he came home and mom and I have just been hanging out. Hi mom. <laughs> um, so we're going to watch Friends. I'm going to work in my planner and then edit this vlog. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.